All right, to reach the first wreck, we are going to start from the giant kotu that sticks up out of the water. And from here, we are going to head about half of a notch to the left of north until we reach a wreck in the underwater island. Now, coming here, you're going to bring a sea moth with a Mark 1 or Mark 2 depth module, as well as perimeter defense. Because there are some annoying creatures here, you're also going to want to bring a stasis rifle and a laser cutter to fully access the wreck. Now, in terms of the creatures that you're going to run into here, the only thing that you'll run into here are bone shark, and they are in pretty large numbers, which makes them all the more dangerous because they can deal some pretty good damage to you and your vehicle and destroy it all pretty fast. So you can use perimeter defense against them, or you can hit them with your stasis rifle to freeze them. You're also not going to want to shine any lights on them because that'll draw their attention like instantly because they are sort of sensitive to light. And because of that, you can also distract them with flares if you just so happen to have those. All right, we are coming up on the wreck and my mouse is about to die. That's fantastic. Now you're going to find the fire suppression data box. Well, in a data box. So let's go inside the wreck. You all try to park your Seamoth or whatever vehicle you come in here in. You're going to want to try to park it like away from all the bone sharks. I leave mine. I typically leave mine like up here above the wreck because there's nothing up here because they will attack your vehicle even while you aren't in it because they're just that aggressive. Inside, what is that data box? Oh, there it is. All right, so we got the fire, fire expression battle bots. Mine was inside. Yours may spawn outside or in that other room that we were just in. But as you can see, it can spawn. With that, let's go to the next spot. So you're going to start from the giant coral tube. Let's take us out of the water to reach the next spot. And from here, you're going to head southwest until you reach a wreck in the sparse reef. Now, you can also get to this wreck if you have the beacon for life 519. So if you have that, you can also use that to guide yourself to this wreck as well. But anyways, coming here, you're going to want to bring similar items to what you brought last time. So you're going to bring a Seamoth with a Mark II or a Mark I depth module. You don't need perimeter defense here because there aren't any creatures that are going to be attacking you here. And aside from the Seamoth, you're also going to bring your Stasis... Ooh, not your Stasis, right? You're going to bring your Laser Cutter and a Sea Glide and probably a Flashlight if you want to see better. Other than that, you won't need anything else because here you're not going to run into any threats or anything. So this is a safe... We'll say for it that you can check. We're coming up on the wreck as it is right in front of us. But just like last time, just like at the last wreck, the data box can spawn outside sometimes, and it can also spawn in these little mini mini wreck compartments, whatever you want to call them. So make sure you check the entire area inside and out. Down here, absolutely nothing. All right, that's great. Just wreck and you don't find anything there. You still have the other wrecks that you can check and there's nothing here for me. So that done. And I had to the very last. All right, and to reach the last wreck on this list, we are going to start from the giant quartz that sits above the water once again. And from here, we are going to head about two and a half notches to the left of west until we reach a wreck in the blood kelp trench. Now going here, you're going to 100% want a Seamoth with a Mark II depth module, not a Mark I, Mark II. You're going to want perimeter defense. And aside from that, you're also going to want to bring a stasis rifle and a knife. Stasis rifle knife and a laser cutter, just like you have been bringing for everything else. Now at this wreck, you're going to run into ampules and bone sharks. Now bone sharks, I mean, not, I said ampules and bone sharks, ampules and warpers, my fault. So at this wreck, you're going to run into ampules and warpers. Ampules, you are not going to be able to hit with your perimeter defense, and they do quite a bit of damage, and they're also sensitive to light, so don't shine any lights on them. Your best bet against them is to either avoid them, slash run away, or hit them with your stasis rifle to freeze them, because you aren't going to be able to use perimeter defense or anything. And for warpers, they can teleport you out of your sea moth or while you're swimming around, so you can either, if you're fast enough, you can hit them with your perimeter defense, and it'll make them teleport away instantly, or you can use your knife and attack them until they take enough damage to warp away, or you can just simply run away, because you can easily outrun, outrun them on a seat if you have. We are coming up on the wreck now. You'll see there's got to be this like giant, I was going to say abyss, like crevice. And then when you look down it, there'll be the wreck right here. Just down, or hit the wreck. Now let's search inside and out. 
just like we've been doing for all the other wrecks. Nothing here, nothing here. If I doubt that I'm going to be able to find the data box here because I already found it at the, what was that, the underwater islands. So that's probably why I didn't spawn in either of the, at either of these spots for me. My gosh. Oh, it's looking like a big old nothing burger. It looks like I wasn't able to find the data box at this right, but I was able to find it at the underwater islands. So if you're, in my case, if you aren't, let's say you go to the underwater islands, you aren't able to find it there, then go check the sparse reef. You aren't able to find it there, and then check this wreck as a last resort. It should be at one of these three wrecks in your game. May not be at the exact one it was in in my game, but it is. It should be at one of these. So yeah, that is all I had for y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next. Peace.